An easy decision to swing on this one. As Andino again just loads up the speed, driving off the bottom now. Beautiful layback, almost losing the tail for a moment, but reeled it back in. Go on a rail. Bit of foam on the face, making things a little difficult, but so far so good. As Andino takes to the air and pulls a very difficult air reverse on the end section. And it feels good. He celebrates with most fists, fist pumping. Right in front of some hometown grommets right there, big time. That was uh, pure passion coming out of Kaloya right there for that claim. He, you know, he felt the pressure from Jeremy. So he's got to be very stoked that he's responding, Ronnie. This heat was getting away from him. Heat number seven of round two here at the Hurley Pro Trestles. Jeremy Flores, the current world number 30, up against the current world number 11. Kaloya and Dino, and this will be Kaloya's best ride. Might have been the best way to the heat so far. Wow. Well, again, this is the biggest set we've seen in this contest. So this southwest swell is coming in full force right now. So a, a nice snap there, right there. You know, nothing really too fancy. So he needs to pick up the pace, and I give Kaloy credit. He answered the call. I think really to, you know, break into that excellent range, he needed a huge finishing move there. Uh, and it was a tricky section. This is that layback carve. But again, he had to cut it just a little short. So even though that was very cool and stylish, he threw some buckets right there. There was smart surfing. He cut it short because he had to get going. So a long section in front of Kaloy. Steps back on the gas. Again, cuts this short. So right here is where the, the wave maybe could have, you know, for the judges could have said, ah, you know, this is nothing too special, just a couple of snaps. And I think what's so cool about Kaloy is he picked up on that. So he said, you know what, I'm not going to just hit the lip here. I'm going to do what I do best, and that's huck my tail towards the beach. There he's springing. Now he's going to huck the tail, get the grab just to make sure, because it was a tricky section. That section was kind of going away from him, which is not what guys that are going to go for airs want. They want that, that reverb. Uh, so a very tricky section for Chloe, and he pulled it off, Ronnie. The height wasn't really there, but that air was so impressive because the, the section was so difficult. Here's the replay of Flores' rod. First wave of the set always uh, has more wrinkles on it. You can see all the chop there. I thought Jeremy did a great job dealing with all that chatter, um, but it affected the quality of the moves, which wasn't really his fault. You know, he did a good job staying on his feet, but there's a the score. 6.43, so he did better his heat score total, and as a result, Chloe Andino needs a 7.94 to get himself into the lead from that last ride. Judges having a good think about it. I think sometimes with those air reverses, you know, they, they look at them pretty closely because there was a couple of things missing, even though for me it was a, an amazing section to do that air on. The height wasn't quite in that air, and he only rotated halfway before landing. So where's that going to uh, take that move? 